Please, would you please welcome the fantastic Victoria Nichols and her new fantastic co-star Tony Shelton. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Do you ever do anything else but bound out? I mean, I can't imagine. Do you bound out Would a bit? Would you like to see me come out slowly? No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your life. I mean, that is your style, isn't it? I mean, do you it actually... Seems to be, doesn't it? I try very hard to kind of cool it down and be terribly sophisticated sometimes, but... Doesn't work? Doesn't seem to. <laughs> I can't imagine. Can you imagine her... Oh, oh she'd, she'd have to be forcibly sedated. <laughs> yeah. To make a normal entrance. Just to tie her down, wouldn't you? <laughs> because I get so nervous. I st Look, my hands are all perspiring. I get terribly... I are too. I know, I get really nervous. But this is probably only 5,000 television shows you've done. I do, and every time I go on Tilly, I get nervous. What about on stage? Do you get nervous on stage? Yes. Do you? For the first, I mean, Mike Walsh used to say, having done a couple of thousands of mm. this show, he said the first five minutes that he would still be nervous at the end. Yeah, yes, that's right. I mean, often, the beginning of each act, particularly, and particularly with this play, the Fantastics, yes. that's why I kept saying. Now, this is wonderful. I saw this in a, mm, 20 years ago in America. Oh, you did, did it, you? It's a wonderful, wonderful musical, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's lovely. It's been running for 31 years now in oh. New York. It's in mm. the Guinness Book of mm. Records. Uh, the the Mousetrap in London is the longest-running play, but The Fantastics is the longest-running musical in the world. Has it been shown here in, in Australia before? It has. It's, uh, it's been done in Sydney three times. In fact, it was my first professional show when I left school. I played the young juvenile lead when I was 17, and now I've moved up to the role of the narrator. Uh, 18 years later but uh, it was done it. yeah it was done in Sydney in uh, 66 with Willie Fennell and uh, Ron Shand oh. uh, uh, in two of the parts uh, so uh, who else has done it overseas who, oh overseas um, everyone in the world's done it uh, Liza Minnelli's been in it Elliot Gould Glenn Close uh, Richard Chamberlain, Robert, uh, Goulet. Robert, Robert Goulet's just done a big tour just this year. Right. Um, it's been done on television with Stanley Holloway and Bert La. Uh, a lot Bert of people. La. Bert La, Bert yes, La. one of the great comics. Bert La. Oh, you like the sound of that, I do you? Do. Know? <laughs> All right, La. you can keep saying that Thank for you. a while. So you're <laughs> following Glenn Close, for example, and, uh, and some other. I don't think she played the mute. No, v Victoria um, is playing mute. a part that's usually played by a boy. Uh, the, the mute, who, what? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> that's why she's come dressed as Buffalo that's Bill. That's why I'm you know? like, um, Patty Duke. <laughs> Here, is, <laughs> Here is Kathy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I, I, I couldn't imagine a part of them. Person less likely to play a mute <laughs> would be Victoria Nichols. Everybody laughs. I know, we have to su super glue her lips together every night before the performance. They're terrified that I won't be quiet in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about your role. It's a, it's a linking role. It, it hands out the props. It, it's like a, like a mask effect in that it's a sense of reality all the way through um, this little romantic... Um, what is it? What would you call a tragic romantic? Mm. It's a sort of like a parable. It's, yeah. a, it's a very, very simple show, which I think is, explains its success. It's, it's the opposite of all those big, high-tech Phantom of the Opera cats type things. It's, uh, it's the story of a boy and a girl two fathers and a wall and there's practically nothing on stage there's no setting and there's very few props and Victoria is like a stage manager mm. who suddenly when you reach out like for a flower or a book suddenly there's Victoria and mm. she just hands it to you so I'm not allowed to laugh no really? really I'm not yeah. allowed to smile that's the I'm not allowed to do uh, anything and of course there's you're not allowed to bound not allowed to bound, bound I, no. I, have to, <laughs> I have to efficient <laughs> you, you've got to be Miss Efficiency, have you? Mm, oh, it's good. It's good discipline, and it's really a marvellous thing because it's taught me to listen. Because I have a tendency sometimes to talk over the top of people. And Go it's really on. Good. <laughs> Who would say that? That's true. <laughs> it's really well, good. But well, what about a fine? How about the idea of a fine for Victoria? If she laughs. A dollar or something. Oh, oh no! Oh, no we, are, we, we, have a, we have a swear box the, because the show the show is called the Fantastics. If anybody actually in rehearsal goes, oh, that's fantastic, we go, you're fine. So uh, and, and and we find everybody twenty cents, and it's all going to the, towards the opening. And night you know party. who's funding the party? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I said it so much in my life. That's fantastic. Do you? Mm. do you? Mm. I do. No, I forget who sings "Time to Remember." Do you sing that? I sing "Try to." I try to try sing to "Try to Remember." Yes, that of course is the big. Hit song of the Try to remember for us, Tony. <coughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Give us a verse. I hope that's in my key, Jeff. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow. Try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow. 
Try to remember the kind of September when you were a tender and callow fellow. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. And that's without a warm up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, so much of television is pre-planned. I, I give you my word that I didn't ask Tony beforehand. You certainly didn't. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's terrific. But it is, it is a fun music. My memory of it, I saw it in a tent, actually, at, in Newport, oh, covering the America's Comfort, uh, mm. Comfort one stage. Right. And they put it up in a big tent, mm. and it just seemed to even fit there with the wall down the middle, and mm. lots of fun. It was one of those almost uh, audience participation things. Well, very it? much, yes. I mean, we, we talk to the audience, and um, it, it, it is a show that can be done virtually yeah. anywhere. Everything it's very comes definitely. out of the props box. It's quite Brexian in style, in yeah, and, and you see all magical. the lighting and absolutely everything, but the fantasy is, is within the performances and the oh. lighting and everything. How come you haven't worked together before, given that? I don't know. We've been mates for a long yes, time. We have, we've just yeah. never been asked. We've we've been in audiences together for shows, but we've been with Nancy Hayes in, in Adelaide. Dame, no, in Sydney actually. Dame's at sea when I was a, a younger person. We've we've both been yes, huge. We're both guilty Nan of being having crushes on Nancy. Hayes. Yes, is Nancy, right? Nancy is directing our shows. She's wonderful. So, uh, oh, she's, she's wonderful. Great. So you know, reunited in that sense. Mm. Mm. All right. Now, there's you. Look. Oh, there's our fabulous director. I, I, it's wonderful, having been a fan of Nancy's for years and years, last year I had the great honour of actually writing and directing a show for Nancy, her first one-woman show. So we sort of swapped places for the first time. I got to boss her around for a bit. <laughs> now, we know that Tony, because of, of his mum, really had no choice. It's said mum and dad, it seemed no choice that, uh, that you had to go on stage. But for you, Victoria, did you have a choice? Is it, was it your first selection? Well, see, well actually, I, was, I did maths and sciences and things at school. I was mm. going to be a speech therapist. And then at one point teach the deaf children using drama. I just always thought you had to be discovered. So every time I came to Sydney, I'd go down the street. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be hoping someone would rush up and say, You're fan. Oh, 20 cents. 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> You're marvellous, and, and, and um, it never happened, except that the teacher at school... Oh, it did happen, well, because it someone did, found it. It did, actually. The teacher at school, Mrs Downer, who was my vocational guidance teacher and English teacher, said, oh, you're so funny, you've got to go and study. And I thought, oh, no, 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 that's just something everyone does, make people laugh. And she said, no, no, Victoria, that's a gift. I went, oh, okay. So she found me this um, course at Flinders University, and I studied with Wal Cherry for four years. And, um, how, how good was he? He was really good. He really. Wasn't fair yes, he was. I was. <laughs> 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 it's like Simon said. <laughs> and for you, you were born in a trunk. I was born in a trunk. Yes, we couldn't afford a hospital. So, um, <laughs> yes, I was born in a trunk, and, and uh, I started when I was seven on the old Graham Kennedy shows. And so I've been doing it for quite some time now. Yeah, and about to do it in the Fantastics at the, the Newtown the High School. The Newtown Actors yeah. Group, it's called. It's, it's, a, it's a new company. And um, the, the booking number is in the Sydney Morning Herald, in the listings. Mm. So, for uh, Ticketek. 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 The Newtown High School of Performing mm. Arts, though, it's uh, in, uh, in Newtown from July the 20th, uh, June the 28th to uh, August the 3rd. And then a national tour to follow. We hope so, yes. Yeah. All right. I'll be, keep us up to date. I'll be intrigued to see how much money Victoria's lost. Oh, you <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Thanks a lot, Ray. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Victoria. Would you Thank please you,